Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to use AI to make yourself a Roblox game icon or thumbnail or whatever you want for your game. This is exactly how to use the AI, all the setup stuff that you need to know, etc. As you guys know, recently AI has been a really big thing. A lot of new AIs have opened, ChatGPT has been used for scripting, more stuff has been used for icons, stuff like making auto-generating descriptions, and it's been very useful to many developers. And I thought I would mainly talk about how to use it for yourself to make, for completely free by the way, this is completely free, to make yourself game icons for your games. So recently, recently I was talking with one of my friends and we actually were looking at the AIs and we actually figured out how to do this. Huge thanks to Asimo on Twitter. He showed some icon stuff, got some inspiration. And this guy here also said what kind of prompts to put in. Huge thank you to both of them. And I'm just gonna be explaining exactly how to do this. So as you guys know, Roblox icons are the square little icons that you would click on on a Roblox game. And these are super important to grow your game. If someone sees your game, you want them to click on it. And AI is actually pretty good at finding the good things to do in icons. And I'm gonna tell you guys a completely free method to use this to make yourself icon. As you guys know, there's a very popular AI named DALI, DALI AI. It is actually very, very popular and there's actually a completely free way to use it as well. So let's go right into this video and let's get explaining how to do it. To start off, what you're going to want to do is go to bing.com slash create. Then it'll open up to the Microsoft Bing image creator powered by DALI 3. Then it's really, really simple. All you have to do is there's going to be a bar and it says, want to see how image creator works? So like surprise me, then create. And then you can click the create button and it will create it once you put in your prompt. So let me just switch over and show you guys what prompt to put in. As you guys can see, I'm on the Bing image creation website, and as you guys can see, it can do a lot of crazy stuff. I mean, this stuff is insane. Like, this is a watercolor painting, but it's actually made by AI. Really good stuff that it can do. Now, what you're going to want to do for this is actually so, so simple. You're going to want to go up to here where it says this bar, and you're just going to want to type in Roblox game icon for a game called and then the title of your game so let's just put up blade ball and i know this is really simple you can add a bunch of more details to it as well but this is just a really basic prompt i can put in then you can just click this create button right here and it'll take a little bit to show up i mean you can see kind of the bar progress bar going i had one of my friends that said it took him like a ton of time for it to generate but sometimes when it goes through the bar it just generates like that as you guys can see here here's some icons that it's actually made this one actually looks pretty cool this one is one of my favorites right here just not enough color and this one is also really nice. Let's actually specify a little bit more. Wow, here's some really interesting ones. I really like the way this one was done. The colors in this are so, so nice. This honestly feels like an icon that Blade Ball would use. A lot of these are really abstract, like this one. Honestly, really interesting stuff. Let's change it up a little bit and say slicing a ball in half and it feels colorful. Yeah, that's good. Oh my gosh. A lot of these are crazy. I mean, they aren't exactly, some of them aren't exactly what you want. Like, I don't know what's going on there. All right, so I added midair to the thing. Let's see what it does. Oh my gosh, this looks crazy right here. There's just some crazy ones here that is just honestly insane. So yeah, as you guys can see, it works insanely well. Now, I just wanted to say at the end of the video that this is not trying to take jobs away from other artists. This is a really great way for developers with low budgets to be able to support their game in high quality icons to be able to get it out further. This is a way that people can combat artists who are charging exorbitant amounts for some Thing that other artists can do for much less. As well, a lot of people have said that this is stealing work from creators. However, I don't believe this is true yet. Maybe in the far future when AI gets better than most artists, but AI is not that great yet, and there's still a lot of imperfections as you could tell. It will be a long time before it can start actually taking jobs away from artists. This is just a great way for people who don't have very high budgets to be able to support their games with high quality graphic design. Either way, that's about it for today's video. I hope you all did enjoy. Have an amazing day. Make sure to like, subscribe, and take care.